and happy Valentine's Day to you. Today's tip is on signatures for the 50059 form. You will receive a finding if the fully completed 50059 and the 5059A are not signed and dated by the proper parties. Signatures by the head, spouse, and co-head, all adult members of the household and the owner are required on the 50059 and for all of your full certifications. Signatures must be obtained on the 59 prior to submitting the tenant data to TRAX, the contract administrator, or to HUD. Often we find that the 59s were not signed or dated prior to TRAX submission. We find those when we go out on MORs. This can be looked upon as a fundamental action. It could be a fraudulent action. When submitting your voucher to tracks, management is confirming that the information is correct and that they have a signed document in the file by the resident that the information contained on the 50059 is true and correct. Then on property, we discovered that a corrected 5-9 that was not signed or dated by the resident. The manager said she thought that as long as the original 5-9 was signed, that the resident did not have to sign the second one. However, it is not true. Having a corrected 5-9 means something changed, so the resident and management both need to acknowledge that change by signing the corrected 50059 as well. The only time a resident may not have to sign a 50059A is if it is a gross rent change and nothing changed for the resident. So check those signatures and dates on your 59s. Make sure you have them. And again, have a happy Valentine's Day. See you next time for another Tuesday tip.